Hey everyone, welcome to another How to Webflow. Earlier today, I asked you on a YouTube poll, what should I record tonight? And the options were bottom mobile menu, an infinite marquee, or responsive card UI. And the winner was infinite marquee. So that's what I'll be showing you today. And it looks a little bit like this. And as you can see, it just keeps going and going and going. And it's really simple to do. The only tricky part is setting up the element structure and the interaction is actually the easiest part. So yeah, I'll show you how to do that right now. All right, infinite marquee. So the trick with this is really how to set up all the elements, all right? So here we go. First element I'm gonna do is, let's just do a section. And this section, we're gonna call it wrapper. And this wrapper, I'm gonna give it uh, a padding on each side of 10. Nothing too complicated, just 10. And uh, we want to set the overflow to hidden because we don't want anything that's leaving this uh, wrapper. We don't want anything that's uh, too far to the right or too far to the left to make the browser window have a horizontal scroll bar. Okay, so this is our uh, mask masking uh, element. That's why we have overflow hidden. All right, next, let's go ahead and add a div block. And div block, we're gonna call this uh, marquee wrapper. Okay, so this is gonna hold the, the things that are like going across. And we'll go ahead and set this to flex, all right? Because we want both, uh, both rows of content to be all in one row, okay? Or I mean, both divs of content. Eh, you'll get it, just, just keep watching. All right, so here we go. Uh, we have the marquee wrapper, and we're gonna set the width of that to 200%, okay? So that's 200% of its parent, which is this guy right here, all right? And so that's why you can't have, that's why I can't scroll left and right because I have the uh, wrapper, this one right here, with overflow hidden, but this one is going 200% of its parent, so there we go. All right, next, let's put in our first marquee um, element, I mean marquee element. What's the thing? Oh, yeah, marquee div. All right, so I'm gonna call it marquee, cool. And we're gonna set this as 100%, no, sorry, 50% of its parent. Okay, so this is 200%, this is 50%, all right, got it? Which 50% here is 100% of the, yeah, you get it, come on. <laughs> all right, next, let's go ahead and put some content in here. So I'm gonna make some, uh, a simple card. So I'm gonna drop in a div block here. This one's called card, and we'll give this some padding of, no, we're gonna give this some margin of 10 on each side like that and we'll give it a border radius of 10 give it a a border color of something light like this and we'll give it a height of 250 like that all right all right and let's give it a box shadow so this part right here however you want to style the content this is up to you this part like you don't really need to know about just style it however you want. Da -da -da. Nice and soft, a soft shadow. Give it some sort of background color so you can see it. All right, so that's my card, but I want multiple cards. Actually, let's put some text inside of here. So this text needs to be centered. So I'm gonna drag in a text block here and say, hello world. I'm gonna go back to the card and I wanna set this to flex. So all child elements will be centered vertically and horizontally. And this for this marquee, uh, all elements within this marquee row will have a flex and we'll push them off to the side like this. 
Okay, and we can take this card and go copy, paste, paste, paste. Hmm, let's just make them stretch. Boom. Okay, cool. Sounds good. Looks good. Let me copy and paste this. Yeah, five is fine. Something like this. All right, so we have our cards. Okay, now remember I said we're going to have two rows, but we make them into one row because of the flex box and marquee wrapper watch i'm gonna press paste and there we go so as you can see right here that little guy i'm trying to scroll left and right but i can't because i have the overflow hidden on wrapper but if you look right here that's the second marquee so here's the first one and here's the second one so he's kind of off stage ready to start walking in all right so our elements are set. We are ready to go for inter interactions. But let us let me summarize what I just did, okay? So to recap, wrapper, gave it a padding of 10 on each side. Overflow, hidden, so that way we can mask out anything that's beyond the actual width of this wrapper, okay? Marquee wrapper. So this one is the thing that goes beyond the wrapper. Okay, so with 200%. And we set this display to flex because we want both of the child rows to actually be one row. Okay? And then our marquee. So we can take our marquee and put any content we want inside of it. We set the width to 50%. All right? And we display flex on this one as well because we want everything all in one row. And then these cards, that's just my content. And you can replace these cards with whatever you want. And yes, you can clone this. Go ahead and clone this when, um, when you see this video. Clone it, reverse engineer, learn from it, use it on your own project, whatever you want to do. All right. So hopefully this makes sense. Two marquees, 50%. This is 200%, 100% widths. Got it? Interactions. Here we go. I'm going to go here. Oops. There we go. So I'm going to go to interactions, page trigger, page load. So when the page finishes loading, start an animation. We create a new timeline. I'm going to call this marquee mark. And we'll take this marquee, press plus, move. And we're going to affect class, not the selected element, but anything with this class name, All right? Now we're going to uh, set the duration to however slow you want. I'm going to do, uh, let's do, yeah, 10 seconds, linear. And I'm going to move everything with this class name, negative 100%. All right, now look what happened. Marquee number one right here is now off to the left, but this marquee, oh, well, you can't see, it's still on the right, but it's because I'm like, ah, hard to explain, but all marquees moved to the left 100% of their width, all right? And so after that, I go move, and set the duration to zero. So we want both marquees to reset really quickly, like instantly. So that's why duration is 0%. And we set the X to 0%. And if I click out, press loop, preview. Around the world, around the, wait. I hope I don't get copyright written or copyright strike for what I just did. Anyways, see, it's working. Not too hard. Okay, so let me publish and look what, uh, I wanna see what it looks like. Boom, 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 yeah, so you get it. It's working. Hope this helps.
All right, that's it for this video. Thank you all so much for watching. Uh, hopefully you learned a lot from this and all my previous videos. If you are learning and you want to leave some feedback or have an idea for a future video, or if you've used these tips in your website, please put the link or your comment or your feedback below. If you want to continue supporting me, go ahead and click on the subscribe button, the like button, and also the notification bell. If you want to tweet at me, it's at the Pixel Geek. And that's it. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. And as always, make the web beautiful together. See ya.